afande na katika na we afande na jibamba na we na jibamba na we na katika na we Wow, tena ni tena. Wanasema tena sio kesho, tena ni saa hii. Maze tuko hapa na tunafanya mambo yetu kama kawa. Hey. <laughs> Tripo genge show, eh? Fande gwiji kama kawa, maze energy ko juu kabambe kama kawa, eh? Tulisema mwaka ni 2023, eh? Tunautaja kwa sababu ni mwaka wetu na ni mwaka wa kufanya kazi. <laughs> kama kawa, eh, kwenye studio huwa tuna flow. Tuki flow, hatukosi watu. Nikiongea peke yangu mtasema ni umbea. Kwa hivyo lazima niwe na watu tujadili tu na tuwainue inue mgeni akosi yupo ka kitako Mtu wangu karibu kwenye show Ashukrani sana fani. Mambo vipi? Ah, mambo fresh Yuko sana. Fiti. Fresh ah, fine sana kuku ndani ya show. Mm. Nafurahi sana. Msanii mwenyewe kama kawa unaona maze amepiga pamba, eh anatulia saa kwa mkono, madigaga, eh wewe kama upigi pamba shauri yako maze ka fit, ka nice, kula vizuri, kunywa maji maze ka fit. Be yangi yangi wacha kukaa mtu wa 20 years unakaa kama mtu wa 40 years. Eh make sure that unalinda mwili wako mzuri. Angalia video wasanii wanapiga pamba. Karibu kwenye show. Asante sana. Majina angalia kwenye hii kamera na useme majina yako na ah. brand name yako. Okay, kwa majina kamili ni Sami K na Bali lakini kisanii najulikana kama Sami G aka K Mswaze. Eh twende pole pole. Majina kamili ni Sami, Sami K na Bali na Bali yes eh na tunakubali pia hiyo ni rhyme <laughs> <laughs> alafu brand name brand name ni Sami G aka AK Mswazi Miwacha ni katali hapo pa Sami G hapo Mswazi kazi mingi <laughs> <laughs> kama kawa huu ni msani wangu wa leo mzee ana majina kibao eh na tunasema na Bali na sisi tunakubali kwa hivyo eh na uh, Sami G mm-hmm. wewe unafanya mziki wa aina gani a uh, mi ni msanii wa gospel mm-hmm. ama ukipenda mziki wa injili yes yeah, na nafanya mtindo ambao unaitwa kwa kizungu afro pop afro pop yes yes ukisia okay, nakwambia anafanya mziki wa injili eh au wengi waongeza yesu ni bwana <laughs> amen amen <laughs> eh bibi hatujui ni nani lakini tunajua tu yesu ni bwana <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> eh, kama kawaida eh so uh, manake unafanya uh, mziki wa injili na Ah uh, ni mziki ni kama ministry. Ndio. Yeah, Niambie ulianza mziki wako wakati gani ama mwaka upi na umekaa kwa mziki kwa muda gani? Okay, actually I started music back in 2004 I was in school. Mm. So hapo ndo nilianza kutokana na ile influence ambayo nilipata kwa kusikiza wasanii ambao walikuwa wanafanya vizuri wakati na yeah. time time ndo pia Kenyan music ilikuwa ina, ina come up so tuna mm-hmm. kuna wale wasanii walikuwa poa so kwanza hapo nikaanza kuandika cuz i started with writing too mm-hmm. na, najaribu kujifunza kuandika hata si juu studio na kaje uh-huh. but nilikuwa na hiyo dream ya kutaka pia mimi ni one day nisikike kwa kitu kai inaitwa msukumo msukumo mm-hmm. so hiyo 204 ndo nilianza 205 actually mm-hmm. nikaingia kwa competition hapa yes. na pale but when i was starting mm-hmm. i started as a, um, a secular artist secular artist oh, of course so yeah. nikafanya fanya hiyo to five competition hapa pale to yeah. six that's when i recorded my first track a gospel one no that was a secular, a secular song. music yeah. now but Yo, I, ulifanya mpaka video nilifanya mpaka video but inaitwa muziki ya kidunia muziki <laughs> <laughs> wa okay, so kidunia. ni wapi ulipata kumbo ambayo ilikuambia eh hey, Wei, mm-hmm. toka kwa secular sasa ukuje kwa gospel music. What ni nini likusukuma ndo uka, ukabadilisha? Ah, uh, mimi ni za first of all ni sema kwanza you know I was raised up in a family with a Christian family yes. and uh, to the story that uh, I was given with my fam- my, my my parents like uh, actually was the reason why they saved Napata because mm. me my mom iko iza uh, alikuwa muislamu mhm familia ya kiislamu babake she mm-hmm. alafu huko kwingine ndo kulikuwa ku kristo hivyo hivyo but so some situation ni long story uh-huh. but mimi ndo nilikosa paka hapo so when nili grow up actually nilienda huko but of course it was like a governor god wanted me to be in okay. this side that's why uh-huh. i think when time arrived ilikuwa automatically actually I did save in a studio. 
Uh-huh. I was going to record a secular song but now we produce some when I for record in you to record to record in I but I feel it change. Ali ali badilika turning ali, point. Ali, ali change sana ni you know what Samiji? Mm. Sai jo siezi fanya secular mm. sai na do hivi na hivi but Mr. Kufos ni nini mm. yako? Na kumbuka kiniambia hivi I was from it was like uh, 2008 December yake I was staying in coast and me travel home na route na home pia kumbuka kuko na kulikuwa na conference flani wazungu wametoka majuni nini nini ilikuwa revival kali sana so my mom was sitting there and asked come and time mom kono ni okoke wapi nikaepuka hiyo so kuja kwa studio napata na bado na hii nikaona kama mm. nitaruka hii mm. maybe inaweza kwa kitu kingine different wenda at labda sitafika coast because mm. that the conscious the voice came into me mm. and uh, i say actually uh, i need to do this so you changed uh, you trans only transition kutoka secular kwa kuja gospel just in the studio now Uh, I transit that way nika save nikaombewa pale but I didn't have any song ya gospel. Yeah. Hata sasa hizo kuandika hiyo gospel singeweza kujua. Mm. But now this producer akaniambia I'm giving you some few minutes when the actual the studios near Jivanji up in opposite um uko town Central Police up yeah. it was uh, then Maximum Melody Studios. Oh ah okay. Yeah. So I went Jivanji so na shindo ntaandika nini mm. but all of a sudden yeah. something came up i wrote that song very fast when i came in the studio can use uko saa cuz i'll come and skizisha my instrument kamwambia mimi niko fit ebu ingia bus pale tujaribu kujaribu kweli kwa kitu fit mpaka mm. there, there were some other artists when you already walikuwa kwa gospel wako master one came in akasa who is that one mm. kambia you know this guy i'm safe to akaingia mpaka ndani akambia I like to be in the truck that was my first so who was this <laughs> who was this who was this big artist that it was a mr gooks mr gooks mr gooks tunamjua na tunamfagilia sana alikuwa msadi mkubwa alikuwa anafanya sekila akakuja kase but i know he's still doing the gospel uh, he's still now he gospel. was in the gospel yeah. that time ah. so, so uh, now we're talking about that and that's a good at every person every guy has got a kila mtu akona story yake lazima uwe na story ile ina inspire watu kwa kufanya kile kitu unafanya so now the journey now of the music now Now after doing this uh, I thought now thing will be good because now you in God side nina mm, nini mm, mm. but uh, I remember there's one thing that uh, this producer told me actually is called producer Joel he's one mm. of the good producers that happened to be in the industry so akaniambia you know when you're joining this side mm. things will not be that easy exactly. but when you you sometime you feel like you're squeezed don't look far just open that book the word of god mm-hmm. to, you'll find just a verse that will encourage you yeah. so by the way when i went to coast we are supposed to have now some performance because i was depending in, in those shows up and apale so when i went i met my friends i told them you know what i won't be doing this i'm already in this side mm. but hapo nilipigwa na life jo Mm. for one year i didn't do any music because i didn't have money to go in the studio and yeah. i'm far from now where mm. i was yeah paka i reached the point nika sema you are hey, giving uko, up huko kwa yesu na namna gani uganda kukashifu baba si kukashi lakini nashindwa namna gani mambo magumu hivi patience imeanza kuanguka eh but sasa any time na feel hiyo kitu ime come up nikiangalia pale napata encourage wana sema no I'm still in this. Yeah. Yeah. So uh now um kusikia story yako now na ukakuwa na hiyo transition uh umefanya mziki. Now when did you now see that sasa mziki imeanza kukubali now? Because those are challenges. Mm. They're normal is challenge. True. What did now give you the inspiration that now I should continue nina unaendelea vizuri? Were you inspired ama tu uli ni nini hii ilikuje ikakuwa ndio matunda sasa? So you know cause uh, as i told you from 2004 mm. apo sasa tunaongelea saa kama 2010 to mm. nini hapo mm. already nimekuwa kwa hiki kitu mm. almost a half of my life nimekuwa kwa hiyo kitu so mm. there was no a point of looking back na kusema ati naacha hiki kitu mm. so i was inspired actually with the challenges yeah. that i got i they, were, they made you they, strong they, they made me strong mm. and when i came now doing cuz after that song i never did a song for the whole year mm. so i came 
to start a life here in Nairobi again. Mm. So when I was here nika meet watu wazuri pia mm. tukashirikiana nikafanya uh, an EP yenye mm. ilikuwa na six so Okay. So upon nika get motivated because then now mziki imeanza kama I can't kulipa ama kurudisha yeah. kulikuwa na hizi ringtones sini I did six songs mm. which nilisimamia watu nikafanya But mziki mziki nalipa sio Of course nafanya vizuri nalipa My first house in in, in Nairobi yeah. actually I paid with those uh, ringtones money wow unapata and I know many of you maybe mjaniona manini uh, so I can say that the music is paying because uh, if I was in that and you've not seen me and uh, I was uh, and depending on music yeah. that mean if you come to this other level you can do better and you can earn oh, more now, from music now, now this brings me this question what ni uh, nini hii wasanii wanafanya wrong ambayo hawapati hii mapato Um, uh, actually i can say it is an organization that you have if you organize yourself and put yourself as a take take the art as a business also mm. you know when you investing in a business mm. you have to put a structure yeah. but sasa si tunakosea sometime mm. unafanya tu mziki sababu labda mtu fulani anafanya manani mm. anafanya mm. okay si vibaya lakini sasa umefanya mm. juu kama ukiproduce kitu kama hata ni product simu ama ni lazima upeleke sokoni pitie mauzo ifanye mm, matangazo mm, vitu kama hizo mm, so hizo ndio vitu zinatufanyia hatupati pesa wow yeah na bali na kubali now uh, yeah. sami ji let me uh, nikuulize swali ambayo ni uh, la mwisho apart from music unafanya nini kingine kwa maisha yani ni kazi okay. what hustle nini nini unafanya okay apart from music mm. na naweza sema tu bado ni matunda ya mziki yes. being passionate in music yeah. it led me to become a film producer i'm one of uh, i'm one of the best directors in in in, in this industry mm. i've done the things that i've already shown in the tvs mm. you know like what just be specific uh, like on you are aja nikwambia uko kwa platform says what you pick up if you say me too at some at i'm the best yeah. who will know you all right let me tell you now, the like, film uh, producer yeah. uh, there was a program called nini uh, uh, house of commotion yes it was viewing on um, KTN Brudani okay. I was the director and okay. I was the writer behind that mm-hmm. and also we had uh, we had the other, other other shows uh-huh. that um, I will not mention them okay. but there are many that uh-huh. I did I was director mm-hmm. some writing So you are film director Apart from that yeah. when I'm not doing music yeah. I do also this music as a, as a business yeah. I song right okay. there are many artists that you see on your TV yes. that I'm behind their songs you've written for them i've written for them for months so wonderful is inspiration now yes. i want you to look at the camera there are young people because your story is so good kama tupiga tu story ambayo inatuonesha kuwa we need also to sleep up and work true na inatuonesha inatupatia motisha ya ku make sure that kitu yote unataka katika upeo fulani mm. lazima uamuke utoke kwa duvet ufanye unajua vijana ni wavivu sana kabisa saa 3 asubuhi wanamuka na saa 4 na wanasema hakuna pesa oh hakuna do people they should wake up give them just a very short brief uh, uh, encouragement to the young people who are watching you with your uh, 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 with your story wajue ile kitu wanaweza do waambie waambie kitu okay me i would like to tell you that uh, uh, everybody has a gift yes and uh, that gift if you can't work for your gift then you'll be like someone who doesn't have a gift and you'll complain yes. but if you wake up and realize that this is what i'm capable to do mm-hmm. and go for it mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure that outside there there is your opportunity wow it doesn't matter how hard it is mm-hmm. but there is your opportunity according to the gift that god has given, given you yeah wow so muziki yako ile unataka tuangaze the latest ile unataka tuangaze inaitwa namna gani kwanza nataka kuangaza the latest album ambayo imebeba hiyo mziki okay hiyo ngale na, na iko na story kama hivyo vile nimekuambia uh-huh. i've been in, in in this industry now uh, last year was the 18th 18th is yeah, that's 18th, good congratulations you see, you see kuka kwa hivyo na umeshikilia ni muhimu sana eh young <laughs> people mnaambiwa that you need to be there you, you need to be there it doesn't you need matter. to be there yes yes so, so mm. this album actually mm. the title reveals the years that have been in the game it calls still uh, 18 but still sorry 18 but still oh yani he's saying that uh, 18 but still yani ako pale amekakamua baada ya miaka 18 lakini bado yuko gangari exactly. that's what he means so uh 
Uh, tell us tell us about uh, your new okay the, the the new album mm. i i started recording during the corona uh-huh. season because yes. every time uh, every person was down mm. locked in you yeah. know and as film producers and musician mm. or creative industry in general mm-hmm. so that's the time that i sat down and i did the writing of those tracks and recording okay. and but i came to release last year uh november 18th yeah. actually 18th 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 yeah, yeah, right. 18th 18th, 18th, 18th. Yeah. 18th. Good. And, and also i'm born 18th february 18th, 18th. so and also he's born kari, again <laughs> in the karivitu mob yes so ni may release 18th iko kwa all platforms yeah. all those digital platforms sports fine na nini iko yeah. pale yeah. na ni track kumi yeah. ambazo they are very inspiring okay. they are from actually they are sent these are messages that life messages wow Yo, yeah so i'm here and i'm very happy that i've got this opportunity at least to share what yes. god As sent me to share with you through those music yes they on youtube so um you 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 album i think do imebeba kila kitu kila kitu so tukiangazia uh, sasa nimesikia album what is your song that is on youtube that you want us to play for the viewers to see with your work that's what i'm asking because we need also kuangazia kazi yako ya yeah, video kuna 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 sasa video mm. ambayo hiyo video haiko kwa hiyo album mm-hmm. iko kwa ilikuwa tu one of the singles yes. inaitwa no one no one and no yeah. one yes and those in a, in a sema nini na ongea nini in a sema there is no one like god there's no one there's like no god. one like you know god is in general, in general. there's no Sisi one wote ni wacha mungu there exactly. is no one like god the, my artist here na zile ngoma zingine zote uko nazo tutapatia director so that he can sample them so they play but we are now seeing that even me no one we all we are believers yes. no one kila kitu tunamtegemea nani mungu. mwenyezi mungu yeah. give your social media here okay you mm. can follow me on instagram samiji aka yeah. kemswazi mm. and also you can get me on my facebook page samiji aka yeah. kemswazi on yeah. youtube if you type samiji aka kemswazi you get me and also mm. those digital platform like uh, mm. the one that uh, streaming music mm. if you type samiji aka kemswazi you get my this this album and also you get my previous album mm-hmm. they are all there watu wangu kama kawa ni muambia <laughs> kuacheza fande na swag hapa ndipo nyumbani social media zetu kama kawa triple genge show tufate kwa social media zetu subscribe on our uh, youtube channel so uh, triple genge show make sure that you are pleased and we are pleased this artist hapa samiji uh, akm swazi abejipe uh, hiyo majina yote ni cocktail zitafute <laughs> na umekiwa unamfuatilia kwa hivyo maze thank you very much for coming thank you when for you the release something again new come on the show tutaangazia actually the video are dropping yes from the album because i did the the audios now i'm dropping the video one by one, one so by i'll one. be coming here so vitu so. zinakuja vingi one na sio kazi rahisi could drop even one video it's there is no joke so yeah. we say that uh, thank you very much again thank and you. god bless you amen. god afungue njia zako you be who you want to be amen and the amen. young people Afande na katika na we afande na jibamba na we ah